This is what most greenhouses that grow uh, vegetables and flowers look like in the winter time. This is the uh, first week in February and we're at Shotna Farms in Exeter, Rhode Island looking at trays of peas. These peas are just opening up as you can see and uh, they'll be transplanted or left right behind the vegetable that we're talking about. We've got arugula here. Now these arugula are being harvested for restaurants. Many restaurants today prefer the locally grown greens and so these plants can be harvested right in the trays that they were sown in. Looking at some more arugula there. And we got spinach over here. This is yet to be harvested. And we're looking at uh, radish seed here. Those radish greens are good too. These will, uh, they pop so quickly, radishes that is. You can have a crop in less than a month. So it got me involved as a child at eight years old. All the other kids were trying to grow watermelon and corn. I knew enough to look at the back of the package. This is arugula. And of course, they come up in 30 days. So this was in May, and I said I wanted to play baseball in June. I wanted to school that out. So I grew mine outdoors in May, and was able to play baseball. I was also the most popular kid. We're looking at a greenhouse that uh, will be filled in another month with uh, vegetable plants and flowers, annuals for the most part. Uh, but these w these wires that we see uh, are for watering, and they are connected to hanging pots in about two months and you'll see a lot of uh, hanging fuchsia and other hanging plants that uh, get that automatic watering. Here we see the pallets and they're good size. And these will all be laid on the floor And it makes for easy er transportation when these plants uh, need to be transported to the to the front. Why do it one at a time? They may go on trucks, or the tractor may just in fact, because this is what we call stand, a retail stand, and they grow. Uh, mostly for themselves. They do some wholesaling here at Shotna Farms and they have a uh, very successful operation. Their uh, a three generation at this point. Uh, just talked to Rich Shotna Jr and his children uh, about nine and they'll be involved they are to a lesser extent now but uh, certainly helping out as my 
kids did. Oh, here's the pillow tomatoes. This is uh, an early start on the pillow tomato. And the plants themselves have not been inserted. This one, this particular pillow, holds three tomato plants or eggplants or peppers and uh, after the tomatoes are seeded and then put into trays separated into trays where they'll grow they are then placed in their pillows which have already been laid out here as we can see and they'll have a good crop of tomatoes. The object in New England in particular is to be the market with the first tomatoes. The first tomatoes get a much higher price than the later tomatoes. So with that I think I'll wrap this up. There you see some in the distance some lawn ornaments that will go out in the garden center out front and uh, we've had a story behind the story if you will <laughs>